If I good evening and welcome to our evening prayer on this Monday, the 3rd of July, 2023. Today we keep the feast day of Thomas the Apostle. Thomas is mentioned among the number of the apostles in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark and Luke, but it is in John's Gospel that his significance is revealed. First, he is heard encouraging the other disciples to go to Judea with Jesus. Then, not knowing what Jesus meant when he talked about where he was going, he elicited the answer that Jesus himself was the way. But probably the most famous incident was when the apostle, notably unconvinced by reports of Jesus' resurrection, caused Jesus to show him the marks in his hands and his side. Thomas then acclaims the risen Christ with the words that have been described as the great climax to St John's Gospel, my Lord and my God. And so our evening prayer for the feast day of St Thomas. O God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, create, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory for ever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence, by the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And <clears throat> our hymn, How Beauteous Are Their Feet, and uh, it's sung to the tune, St Thomas. How beauteous are their feet, who stand on Zion's hill, who bring salvation on their tongues, the words of peace reveal. How happy are our ears that hear this happy sound, which kings and prophets waited for and sought but never found. How blessed are our eyes that see this heavenly light. Prophets and kings desired it long, but died without the sight. The Lord makes bare his arm through all the earth abroad. Let every nation now be heard, their Saviour and their God. But this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. And our psalm for this evening, Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place. You are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts and knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My fame, frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes behold my form is yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O Lord! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God, that the bloodthirsty might depart from me. 
They speak against you with wicked intent. Your enemies take up your name for evil. Do I not oppose those, O Lord, who oppose you? Do not I abhor those who rise up against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. They have become my own enemies also. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Try me and examine my thoughts. See if there is any wickedness in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. <clears throat> Reading from the book of Job, chapter 42. Then Job answered the Lord, I know that you can do no, you can do all things, and no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me which I did not know. Hear, and I will speak. I will question you, and you declare to me. I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Therefore I despise myself, and repent in dust and ashes. Here ends the first reading. And our canticle. Christ was believed in throughout the world and taken up in glory. Christ Jesus was revealed in the flesh and vindicated in the spirit. He was seen by angels and proclaimed among the nations. Believed in throughout the world, he was taken up in glory. This will be manifest at the proper time by the blessed and only sovereign, who alone has immortality and dwells in unapproachable light. To the King of kings and Lord of lords be honour and eternal dominion. Amen. Christ was believed in throughout the world and taken up in glory. And a reading from the first letter of St Peter, chapter 1. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable and defiled and unfading kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith, for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold, which, though perishable, is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy, for you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Concerning this salvation, the prophets who prophesied of the grace that was to be yours made careful search and inquiry, inquiring about the person or time that the Spirit of Christ within them indicated when it testified in advance to the sufferings destined for Christ and the subsequent glory. It was revealed to them that they were serving not only themselves, but you in regard to the things that have now been announced to you, through which you brought good news by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. Here ends the first reading, second reading. And our responsory. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. And the Magnificat. On the foundation stones of the heavenly city are written the names of the apostles of the Lamb. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. For the Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel 
to remember his promise of mercy, promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. On the foundation stones of the heavenly city are written the names of the apostles of the Lamb. And so we come to our prayers of intercession. As we pray for the church throughout the world, we pray for the Diocese of Northern Uganda, for its Bishop Johnson. We pray for the Valley Crucis mission area, especially for the work of the Reverend Cass Mary today, as she begins her curacy there. We also pray in the life of the diocese for Alwyn Lytton Smith, as she begins her work today as our new diocesan secretary. We continue to pray for the needs of the world around us, particularly for peace throughout the world, in Ukraine and Eastern Europe. We pray for all those who continue to face the cost of living crisis. We pray for those who are sick, amongst them Louise, Gordon, Joshua, Derek, Jess, Luna, Maldwin, Maya, Stan and Frida. And we remember the faithful departed, among them Gerald. And so our general prayers of intercession, let us pray. Rejoicing in our fellowship with Thomas and all the saints, we make our prayer to our gracious God for the grace revealed in Thomas and for all that inspires us from his life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer for his insight into the mystery of Christ and for every way in which his faith continues to speak today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that following his example of good life, we may hear afresh your call to holiness of life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that we may receive grace to follow into the likeness of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer, that we may persevere in prayer and seek new light and truth from your word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that we may draw other people to the fire of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that we may be faithful to Christ even to death. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so in communion with Thomas and all the saints, we commend the world to the mercy and protection of God. Almighty and eternal God, who for the firmer foundation of our faith allowed your holy apostle Thomas to doubt the resurrection of your son till word and sight convinced him, grant to us who have not seen that we may also believe and so confess Christ as our Lord and our God, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much for joining me once again on this uh, Feast of St Thomas and uh, wish you a very good evening indeed.